Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the file upload. Whenever we are doing the API automation, this is the common scenario which we come across where we need to automate the file upload. Well, Karate Framework provides inbuilt API using which you can do the file upload and automate the scenario. So our test application has an endpoint where you can perform the file upload. Let us look at the Swagger documentation of the test application. So this is the endpoint URL for the file upload and it is a post endpoint. So first let me show you how you can access this endpoint via Postman. So the request type is post. This is the base URL. And this is the context path of the endpoint. In the body, select form data and from this drop down, select file. Now let us look at the Swagger documentation. So for the file upload, the parameter name is file. So that is the same parameter I'm going to use here. Click on select files button and select the file which you want to upload. So we have specified the location of file and Postman automatically identified the file name. Now let us look at the header tab. So Postman has automatically added the content type and the value of the content type header is multi-part slash form data. This header represents that the data will be divided into multiple parts and then send it to the server. So let me send the request and we get the response. So when we do a file upload using the test application, it is going to upload the file and put it inside the temporary directory. Now let us see how you can do the file upload in the Karate framework. So inside this package, I'm going to add one more package and let me call it as file upload. Inside this, first I'm going to create a text file which I'm going to upload. And let me put some garbage data inside this file. So this is the file which I'm going to upload. Then I'm going to add a feature file. Inside this feature file, we will use the feature keyword followed by the short title. Then I will create the background section that will initialize the base URL. After this, I will create the scenario. So given path and this is the context path. In Karate framework, there are keywords available using which you can perform the file upload directly. And the keywords are and multi-part file. So using the combination of these two keywords, we can perform the file upload. After that, we need to specify the parameter name. So in our case, the parameter name is file. So I will specify the file here. So when we were doing the file upload using the Postman, we specify certain information such as location of the file, name of the file, as well as the content type header. Same information we need to specify in the Karate script also. As we are specifying the multiple information, so here I will use the open and close curly braces to specify the multiple information. So the first information we need to specify is location of file. The second information which we need to specify is the name of the file. And the third information which we need to specify is the content type header value.
So when we specify the location of file, Karate Framework is going to read that file. As the Karate Framework is going to read that file, we can use the read API in order to specify the location of file. So read colon and the location of the file. Now in our case, the file is present inside the same package as of the feature file. So I can specify the name of the file directly here. So let's say if the file was present inside the top level package, then I need to use double dot operator with the slash to specify the location of the file. But in our current case, both the feature file and the file is present inside the same directory. So I just need to specify the file name. Now second information which we need to specify is the file name. So in our case, the file name is this. And the third information is the content type header. And this is the value. After that, I'm going to send the post request. So when method post, then status is 200. And I will also print the response at the console. So inside this package, I'm going to create the runner for this feature file. And inside the runner, I will specify this feature file. And let me go ahead and run the runner. So our scenario is successful. And you can see here, this is the message which we are getting at the console. And our file upload is successful. Now let me try to upload the file which is present inside this package that is under the data package. Let me create the copy of this scenario. And after this I'm going to create a variable that will have the location of the file. So this is how we need to specify the location of the file because the data directory and the file upload directory both are present inside the same package that is the post request. And this will be replaced with embedded expression. And let me go ahead and run the runner again. So our scenario is passing and this is the message. So in this scenario, I'm going to add the assertion. So this is our file name and match response dot message contains the name of the file and let me go ahead and rerun the runner so our, both the scenario are passing so in this manner you can perform the file upload using the karate framework you need to specify three information that is the location of the file name of the file and the content type which you can specify in this manner.